<sighs> Life is chaos. Morning, Hazri. Morning, Kale. Life is chaos. That's what it is today. <laughs> How you guys doing? How you doing? So today's more rebirth. If you can't tell, I get that we're, brand new to the CAS, we're finishing the day game at some point between now and Friday. Aww. Thank you, Hazri. I'll try to be an epic dream mama as much as possible. I'm going the right way. Yes. All right. So today, wrapping up June and side quests. Doing June in main quest, and then we'll go from there. I really hope they release the performance mode graphics patch this week. Cause yeah, yeah. Oh, how is Grace doing? How's Grace doing? Is she surviving? I hope. <laughs> I hope she's surviving. <laughs> It's Elden Ring, so... It's gonna be, uh... It's gonna be rough. Yeah. You certainly do. So, what are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the Great Condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight. Make sure it's in good health and all that. It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Let's God. Just hope it never develops a taste for us. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? It's filled with fun facts about her beloved bird. I'm quite proud of it. Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. No, let's wait a little longer, lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but... Uh... If you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Well, far be it for me to turn down such an offer. It's a grand old bird. Makes its nest in a small island just a stone's throw from here. Mm. Even saved my life back when I was a lad, if you can believe it. The condor was looking out for me that day, so I thought I should start looking out for it. Keep tabs on its well-being and whatnot. It's a proud creature, a hunter at heart. We've tried to feed it before, but it seems to prefer catching its own prey. If something smelled enticing enough, though, it might be moved to come and take a closer look, I suspect. Is she trying to make herself in the back game? During the war, I'm gonna I was guess. running from some <laughs> Shinra troopers when one of them got me in the back. I fell to the ground. I thought I was done for until that bird snatched me up and flew me to the next town over. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if it mistook me for its supper. I never managed to regain the use of my legs, unfortunately. But I feel my spirit soar when I watch that condor fly. I may be stuck here, but at least they're still free. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of the condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's go head down here. Quiet boy, you're fine. I know you just want all the attention constantly, but it's fine. All right, 
We got Proto Relic Insanity. And we have... Kyrie at some point being insane. Play Arts Sweeper. Nice. Alright. So... Let's see. How are you doing today, Hazari? Ah, oh, I need to... I want to play Elden Ring and get another run before we get Shadow of the Earth trade out. But that means I need to finish Dark Souls 1 first and La Mulana because it's going to be a big game to play. All right, time to go get warped into board game. Now then, How you doing, Kale? Relic, where would I be? Over here. Your princess and your treasure await you. Make haste, my hero. Mwah. 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 Uh, does he really think we don't realize it's him? If he does, then he's farther gone than I thought. Friends, help us! The captain is in grave danger. And without him, we're doomed. All of us! What do you mean? We're nothing more than pieces in this game. Normally, we'd be stuck here, waiting on the board until someone came along to play with us. But all of that changed when the captain showed up. Ever since that day, We've been able to move around under our own power. I've never felt so alive. And it's all thanks to the captain. Uh -huh. Without him, we're as good as dead. So how should we handle this? I don't think we can get the proto-relic back without the captain. Yeah, we gotta help him. Yeah, yeah. We're back to Voxel Land. What are you doing today, Hazari? Oh god, okay, so... I... Kinda want to... I can't switch. I really wish I could switch my own units. Offense, let's go. Freaking Gilgamesh, okay. Alright, so first things first. Enforcer, trebuchet. Okay, this is going to need a... Fighter of some sort. Yep. Are here. We'll get a ranger behind him when we're done. I need an elite ranger, unfortunately.
Oh, freaking hell. Um... Down here. Freaking hell. going to spam. We're not gonna finish, unfortunately. Nah. Hey, Saber. How are you? Um. This is all elites with a cleric. Ballista for defense. Trebuchet for. Decent, doing decent. Okay. Wait for this guy to come down here, then we'll throw a... You in front of them. We need... Uh, 
We will. We'll do an elite ranger here. We'll do Ballista here. Cleric here. We'll do another. We need the reinforcer here. Ready to that going? Let's go up a little bit farther. Oh no, okay, that's fine. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna lose again. Ah! I didn't catch the sound of your reflexes. Did it, uh... Did it play? Did I miss it? <laughs> Let's see... What? I didn't hear Moai. One second. That's odd. <laughs> it's supposedly on. see if it lost connection. Every once in a while it loses connection. <laughs> Moai. Let's go to here. Log in. I know you have to reauthorize it every once in a while. I mean, it should be online. Hmm. Hmm. Xenos worked, but the other did not. Interesting. It says it's connected. Um, 
It is on. Says my source is offline, even though I'm pretty sure I am completely online. Why do you think... I'm completely offline. Hmm? Yeah, it thinks it's offline for some reason, which is weird. I look I'm, like I'm off online to everyone else, right? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. If I need to regenerate the URL for some reason, let me regenerate it and try that. Maybe, maybe I ran out of my free, my free alerts I can use. <laughs> That'd be silly. Okay, use OBS. Do this, copy you. <laughs> okay, it's in here. I wonder if it's doing something weird. It... I believe before I just had it automatically say, Hey, just go through and play things. Even if you have them. I can pull down... Hmm... Yeah, it's still not finding it for some reason. I wonder if... There's just something wrong with it connecting. Let me try... This other method. Wait, it doesn't like the copy-paste method for that, really? Hey. Yes, and then I'm just gonna take you and put you into here. 
That looks exactly like what I already have. Oh, I don't have that being monitored, so I wouldn't even know if it's playing. I don't think that played, though. Hmm. doesn't seem to want to do things. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix this. Because it just doesn't want to connect. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't want to work. Let me try... Yeah, it just doesn't want to work. Hmm. Let me go to... Streamlabs really quick. Okay, bye, Kale! See if there's anything weird going on with the connection here. No. Maybe my Twitch desk dashboard? Ba -ba. Not you. Uh Huh. Yeah, it just doesn't want to work. I don't know what to do about that. Because it doesn't seem to be... The big thing is, for some reason, it doesn't seem to be detecting that my stream is online. Which is really weird, because I'm obviously online. Yep. I think we're just going to be stuck for now, because until it figures out how it wants to be connected, or figures out that we're actually in stream, I can't do much. It's just like, nah. And they don't have any, uh, troubleshooting guides to fix this, so... I'm just going to assume... ...that it's very 
silly right now. And sound alerts can say that it's happening. Like, it obviously the bot knows that everything's working. The bot knows that we're enabled, so... Yup. I don't know. Is what it is. Broke my full screen there, too. Okay. Try this again. Alright. I do have a break I have to take at 10.30. A very short one. And I have another break I have to take. A little bit shorter after that. Hopefully it won't be too long. Okay. We need... This dude? Need a ranger here in a moment. We'll go ahead and spawn hero unit cloud here now. We need... Vanguard here. Ranger, Elite Ranger. This stinks. Ah. Okay. God, it did suck that I actually blocked my two dudes right there. That would have made my life a lot easier. Okay. Okay. Let's 
first things first, we want a lead enforcer. We'll put a trebuchet right here. Not trebuchet, a ballista here. We need an elite vanguard when we get the chance. Right here. Range run this side in a second. Come on. Honestly, need the vanguard up as soon as we get the chance. Oh, let's do that instead. God. Freaking hell. Okay. Oh, darling hero. Hey, hands off, Buttercup. You want to thank us so bad? Give us the proto relic. Uh huh. I'm afraid I cannot do. This treasure is mine. And mine alone. Never would I allow you knaves to claim it. Uh, Captain? Come, my loyal henchmen. With this, none can hope to stand against us. We shall build ourselves a sprawling empire. <laughs> hey, Captain, well, wait for us, Captain. Where are you going? We have another one with these up to do, God. God help us. That polygonal piece of shit. Talk about a dick move. You hear what the cavalry said? This whole thing started when the captain showed up. Yeah, 
when they gained free will. They were pretty happy about that, weren't they? Indeed they were. I still remember the weight of the chains that bound me to Hojo's service. And the joy I felt when someone finally came along and set me free. It's oh my no god. It's become a symbol of hope. Even so, we can't just abandon those guys. Never mind the proto relic. Right. Speaking of which, I've reacquired its signal. Send us the coordinates. There's some very odd sound choices about when, you know. When should the audio end? I feel like I'm a broken record saying this, but... Audio design choices in this game are really, really odd. I'm thinking half of it is they... broke something. Alright. We'll do this side quest because it's right here. Yes, 100%. They have this tendency to be keeping certain tracks playing much longer than they should be. They certainly poured their energy into the promotional aspect. They'll be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. <clears throat> I'm glad I'm not the only one that's been picking up on this because I've been reading a lot of other people's reviews and they've been like, game's fun. It'd be nice if uh, the audio wasn't so weird. And I'm like, oh, really? Tell me more. No. <laughs> Grace is amused by the usage of grace. Mm. Golden grace. Grace of gold. Grace. Hi. of Junon. And you are. Oh man. Here I got all excited thinking I had a customer. Well, thanks for making the trip out here to say hi, fellow Merc. I'm gonna need to turn the audio down more. And quit calling yourself a Merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. Oh, what if it is a Merc? Nobody really knows. And besides, arguably this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. <sighs> I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich, but nobody knows we're here. Or even that we exist. Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is business 101. No. <sighs> Since you suck so bad at self-promotion, touch I grace. Have to pick up yes. The and come up with an ad campaign. But touch boy, grace. What's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested. Sounds like a one-way ticket to bankruptcy to me. <laughs> Allergies. What? Shut up! This thing can talk? Indeed. Aww! Aren't you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Come here, come to mama! <laughs> uh, yikes! Okay. He's not a pet. Right. Not a pet. Anyway. As I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done. But not to worry. I put my creative skills to work and came up with this, Diddy. will be lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? Well, what could have drawn them here? I'm 
sure your aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a Merc. So hire yourself. Uh -huh. You're a pro, aren't you? Come on, don't be petty. Oh, I'll even give you some of these. as much danger as hers now. We have to fight. Okay. So something I was experimenting with that you guys... I did not bring up is that... Apparently... Song... Music... And sound effects can all play songs. Let's turn this down to... Okay. We're going to hope this works. Because apparently some songs play through the sound effects channel, not through the song channel, and not through the music channel. We should leave her here. The general sound engine seems like they've done something weird. And I know this isn't a, uh, what do you call it? This is not an unreal thing. Because I used unreal, okay? <laughs> God, there's so many. Lady. How about you come down here and deal with No escape. Now you're in for it. Okay. One more. One more. What are you? Not hitting them with elemental damage will pressure them, but also causing the develop resistance to begin absorbing that element. Okay. Well, fine. Oh, 
All right. We need. Pushing it. And we'll do this one. We need to get non fire for a moment. Unlimited MP. I like that. Okay. Oh my God. Lady, I am going to do terrible things to you, okay? And done. Freaking hell. I wasn't getting any customers. Nobody could get past all those uglies. Yeah, you have to kill them, dear. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to close up shop and clear out. But I'm sure you can take it from here. Catch you later, fellow Mer. Hey. Wanna leave with Mama? Come on, you know you do. <sighs> <laughs> okay, later. I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. You and me both. My dudes! I saw the monsters. Headed your way? I couldn't help but worry. But it looks like I worried for nothing. I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Out of curiosity, what happened to that Merc? She ran away. Bummer. Well, guess we should get this place cleaned up. Oh, now you end the song. Oh, yeah. Rondo was telling me you do Merc work on the side, too. For real? I can't believe you didn't say anything. Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. But I hope you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. Okay. You're gonna have Asuka the broken record about audio mixing in this game for the next... Like, week. While we finish the game. <laughs> Let's see... I like the exaggerated, like, you know, talking and whatnot. It is really fun. As far as, like, the game goes. I am getting... Every once in a while we'll go between doing something, like, in Junin. And then coming back here, and I'm getting a little bit of tonal whiplash, if that makes sense. But, uh... I'm just going to write that off for now. Alright, let's go see what's going on with the condor. Look, How? Cow. You like my cow noises? Oh, 
Also, approaching a cow from behind is a good way to get... There goes the Condor's dinner. Maybe we can track its scent. Awesome cow. And everybody just wants me to have a cow outfit. You see how that is now. Maybe it didn't like your impression. <coughs> My impression was amazing. Now I do want a cow outfit. We got a big... Goodbye, cow! <laughs> you just took off with that cow! The Chocobo could track him. Uh-huh. Yes, the Chocobo can track the flying scent. It's okay. I want a cow outfit too. But someone want to splurge on a cow outfit for me. Pretty please. Thank you, Kay. Thanks, bye. Okay, down. Up. Seems to be a Guess theme a nearby. Let's go. You think so? Where you at? Where you at? You Not your cow. Allow me. Okay. Weaknesses, detrimental status effects. Weak to wind. Inflicting enough damage will pressure it. Once pressured, it rises into the air. Let's do arrow again. Go, <clears throat> Let's finish this. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay, so we have to actually get counter on for that to work. Divine Punishment. Firework Blade. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, I'll be right back. I need to go turn on some audio for a meeting thing. Yeah. Yeah. The cow's dead. But I think that it's still the kind of meat the condor would want. Monster meat's going to be tough, and it's not a prey animal. Even though it'd be fun to hunt, I don't think the condor would necessarily like it. Okay, so we gotta go. We just go back here. Yeah, the cow died. 
<laughs> oh, you're back. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. You can put the food right over there. Thank you. What? This is quite the cut of meat. I've no doubt the bird will be unable to resist the call of such fine dining. Gotta say, it's kinda nice, looking up and seeing a blue sky. Eats a steel one, that's for sure. Puppy! <laughs> Puppy! Though at least with a steel sky you know your limits. Out here, it's endless. I kinda get what Aerith was saying now. Yeah, maybe. Hey, look! The bird comes. <sighs> Sight. I never dreamed I'd be able to see it up close like this. Ah, uh, up. Oh, wait, we have to get a photograph. Grab the camera. Yes, sir. Come on. Gather around, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Say cheese. Oh. <laughs> what? So, snap any good shots? I hope so. It just showed up. I could barely hold my camera and... Really? Couldn't tell from a shot like this. Ah. <laughs> well, I haven't looked this happy since I was a lad. It's precious moments like these that make condor watching so exhilarating. You never know what to expect. Well, scouts, let's finish writing up today's report Bibi. and start preparing for Bibi. our next fateful encounter. Bird. And hopefully next time we'll be able to snap a clear picture of that bird. Sir, miss, I'd like you to have this as a souvenir. <laughs> nah. Nice face, Cloud. Oh, I see. Everybody's happy with me right now. Good. So we've done all of this. We now need to go... ...do this. Wherever this is located... It's on the other... Oh, I see. Yeah, it's up here. Alright. This is the... The last... The last of these troubled... Polygonal... Peoples. We have to deal with. Dun -dun. Let's go. One more polygonal BS thing to deal with. Is this the then there's a rabbit. Empire? Many moons have passed. Far too many to recall since my search began. Yet my treasure still eludes. Not I've gleaned, but loneliness. Warlock. What are you doing? Stay back! We won't let anyone harm the captain. Rest assured, we won't hold back. Fine. If it's a fight you want, you got it. Okay, let's see. They have one of everything. Evil Enforcer, Callous Cleric. Okay.
Three minutes. Let's go. All right. He's going to start with ranged. So we'll start with a vanguard. Oh. We need a vanguard here. And a cleric would be good. We we'll get the chance. So honestly, we'll need an enforcer here. Okay. Now we gotta begin getting serious. I just need you. Face the slimer head against the Bloodhound jail boss. Ugh! I mean, more power to her. Oh, wait. And done! First try. If you haven't played the game before... Gurgle, gurgle, go. Go. Time's up for this world. And everyone in it. Oh, thank you for the head pads, Hazari. Yeah. But hey... At least we can say we... Went out with a bang. We sure did. It was fun while it lasted. Thanks for playing with us, friends. May we meet again on the field of battle. Someday. Well, if we can find the time. God. Thanks. The four condor anomaly appears.
appears to have vanished, along with the captain, which mm. unfortunately means I cannot ascertain his true identity. Great. At the last, we'll see if the cavalry? Not necessarily. I've devised an alternative. Though, I am sure my efforts will pale in comparison to that of their captains. Allow me to present an upgraded model of Fort Condor. By optimizing the combat simulator's OS for the game's internal processor, I have increased the unit's cognitive function and operational freedom. Provided they accept the optional update, that is. Hard mode is available now for Fort Condor. What? Next time we see him, I hope we're fighting on the same side. Yeah, man. You hang on to this. Just make sure to keep it safe, all right? So we have a piece of Gilgamesh's armor. Or some ninja armor. Nice. Very nice. What the? An untethered soul. Adrift in the void of time. Hi, Saber Sensei. Thank you. Make fast. Captain? The singular item that you now hold. Possessed of a power beyond your can. You will deliver it unto me. No. Ha. Very well. And I shall take it from you by force. I saw it plain, and never does my judgment err. Okay, Gilgamesh, bro. So it comes to this! Yep, that sounds about right. Gilgamesh runs away. Like he always does. Cloud? Cloud! Uh huh. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. What just. I was unable to locate you, albeit for only a moment. If something had happened to you because of me, I. Nothing happened. I'm fine. Right. My apologies. I let my emotions get the better of me. <laughs> Rattled you, huh? Could it be you got a soft spot for Soldier Boy here? <sighs> Annoyance response triggered. Soldier Boy. There is mocking tone of voice. Anyway, don't worry about it. Been in much worse situations than that before. Very well. Regardless, Interdimensional travel? To improve security measures. I mean, I guess the whole thing with Sephiroth is technically interdimensional travel. I mean, Gilgamesh is a wimp. I think 15 is the only version of the game. I... What? I don't want to do this in hard mode right now. No. No. We can come back and do this in hard mode later. Not right now, though. Game wants me to go wild over here. All right, we've done all the intel. There's one more side quest over here. Mm. 
But yeah. Gilgamesh is a blowhard, a wimp, a wuss. Just, just how he works. Although, before I come back here... Let me... There's a picture spot over here. Yeah. Let's get this really quick while I can think about it. He is a coward. By definition, one might say. What's funny is in... I believe it's 5 is where he's from. In 5, he's like a general. And he's like, you know, supposed to be a... Big bad dude. Blah, blah, blah. And then... After 5, he just becomes a joke character that... Appears in multiple different Final Fantasy games. Thank you for the hydrate saber. One second. Blah. Oh. Oh, that just connects over there. Okay. Blah. Ah! Adjust my sitting posture. Stretch. Ah, oh, my neck. Ah. Oh, my poor neck. Ah. Oh. This awkward camera angle at an angle is making me feel somewhat nauseous. Why? Ah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Much better. Ah, oh, we're taking a picture that way. Okay. You hate this kind of angle? Yeah. It's like the epitome of a Dutch angle in the worst way possible. I like Dutch angles for like, you know... Um... For the visuals you can get from them. But I don't like having to move on them. Just makes me feel like I'm like... Brittle help. Shameless rates are stirring us all hell. Hey there! Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Good going. Association was impressed too. Bumped you up a rank. Your technique isn't exactly where it needs to be, but you've got promise, that's for sure. If you can develop your talents more, I guarantee you'll go places. Isn't Priscilla just oil? Yes, there's some kind of inaugural. Okay. We gotta go do rabbit. What? Oh, that's just that. I'm gonna go do the rabbit. Not the ribbit. The ribbit. The rabbit. Another day in the <laughs> ah, I can't get it, my voice to do it. Trying to figure out how to croak, but I can't get my voice to croak. Hey, Daddy Spoon. <laughs> Daddy Spoon comes with the posture check, the stretch, and the hydrate, and the head pads. Thank you for the head pads. Ah. Uh. Okay, so there's a frog thing over here. Ribbit. Ribbit. Oh. Uh, hello. Hey, what do you think you're doing here? This is a 
no grown-up zone. Get lost. Enjoy the bathroom breaks, yeah. Well, duh. It's just how this place is. I don't know if it's because of the reactor out there or what, but hanging out here turns you into a frog. Hey, Finn, who are they? But Jolly got you into Yu Gi Oh again. You're grinding mommy cards. Definitely not. Oh, wait. You must be the ones Priscilla was talking about. She told me how you saved her. Right, that's us. Is Grace has Grace be Are you a friend of beat the Bloodhound Jail yet? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. It's Baka. Just, there aren't a lot of other kids in the Baka. village, so I basically had to be your friend. <laughs> Look, I like your anything, Baka. Baka. So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing jump frog, obviously. Actually, what? we could use a couple more players. <laughs> is she still trying? Give it a try. Ah! Help us! <clears throat> Come on, Cloud. Ribbit? Diva. I tried to warn you. Like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog. But don't worry. All you gotta do is start thinking like a frog, and you'll be fine. Ribbit. 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 Oh my god. Why? Oh, I see. So you want to spawn the bubbles, the big bubbles, and then you pull them into them. So even blue eyes, white dragon is is in your hit list. God. Thanks for that. So, ready to play? Come on, I love it. I promise. Ribbit. Ribbit. Okay, here are the rules. Press so to leap over incoming obstacles and dash safely with either R2 or L3. Remain on the platform as long Thank you, as possible. Uh, what is this garbage? Where did this magically appear? Ribbit, 
Are there any items hidden here? While I'm... In here. No. Alright. We're going to try this again. We get two more rings. We just need to last a minute 20 seconds. Yeah, I thought you needed the mist too, but you know, apparently not. Oh! Okay, so when it touches you, it literally knocks you all the way off. I wonder if there's a way to know which platforms are going to fall first. Okay. Okay. Oh god! Oh god! Ah. Uh. Well, we got it to a minute five. I'm gonna try it one more time. Three enfeeblement rings would be nice. Okay, so it's always gonna get you down to... You actually want to be near the edge quite a bit, I feel like. That's what gives you the most room for maneuvering between the... Oh! Between the two. I hate these stupid mini games because <laughs> I just want to beat them. I just want to beat them. I just want to be number one. I don't know which ones are going to be the ones that are going to vibrate. Okay. 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 We were way too far away from the other one. We need to be all the way on the end. Except for all this playing Destruction of the World. And we're busy <laughs> playing Frog Jump, yes.
Okay, the pattern's pretty well established, though. You always want to be towards the end, it seems like, of the section. Be wrong. Oh, God, <laughs> freaking hell. I was busy Ribbit. trying to look for where the thing was. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> okay, but yeah, you always want to be towards the end of the section. If there is only a marker on where the ends of the starting sections were, it'd be useful. More jump, then we come back, get underneath. Okay, yeah. This is the section we want to be under. Or on. This will be the last one standing. Under this one. Okay. One more. Get under. One. Two. Three. Get under. One. Two. Three. One. Under. Two. Three. Oh, we made it to 121. There we go. Ribbit. Done. Done. Ribbit. 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 No. I just wanted to max it out. Goodbye, children. Ribbit. 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 I'm just beating all of you. Don't mind me, children. Hey, <laughs> Red Shadow. <laughs> Hi, Hazari. Hi, Red Shadow. Thank you for the headpads, Hazari. Okay. We have completed everything. It's telling me I haven't got all the cards here. Or is that just for June and in general? June and region, okay. So there'll be some things when we get to upper June and more than likely. Okay. Hope the crow's nest folks don't try anything. That dolphin's so adorable. Did I need to get three? Rings? No. But I got them because I wanted them. Okay. Oh, hey you guys. We talked to Yuffie. Hi. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. 
problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say no climbing. So uh -huh. we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like, like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then, squeak, squeak. I hear this funny noise. That's great mm. and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey. We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise. <laughs> Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> awesome. <On> <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay. Which okay. one of you wants to go flying? Cringe, Red Shadow. Got you ridden all over it, Merc. Of course. <sighs> Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go. All right. Now we got to. Yeah, we did everything that I want to do. Oh no. This is going to become a... This is going to be a minigame. Into the beach balls he loves so much to get excited and speed up. You're swing fast enough by the time you reach the goal. He'll be able to launch Cloud on up to the control room. Steer, perform sharp Come turns. On, you got this. Oh boy, here it goes. Dolphin racing. Oh, those are jump... jump balls. Okay, I missed those. That's fine. I'll miss that one. Surprise that sword isn't rusting in the water and whatever else. Because it's not made of a. Uh, it's made of a. Uh, bullshitium. We're just lowering this giant tanker down into the water. Bullshitium, yes. I mean, it could be titanium. Titanium doesn't, uh, rust. Doesn't oxidize. Okay, your ride's right here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. If we don't sink on the way... You'll be fine. Bear acts like he's a dwarf. That's true, we have... We have Mithril. Mithril doesn't rust. Neither is Adamantium. You 
you've been a huge help, Priscilla. No prob. Well, guys and girls, and, uh, dog, I'll see you later. I didn't realize it was going to be a a quick time event there. I was just watching. I was like, wait, what? I was like, oh, oh, I need to push a button. We're good to go down here. I don't know. He can lay down on a bed covered in fabric. And it doesn't light on fire. So... Hi! Bye! Yeah, the sloppy doesn't work because sound alerts is not detecting that we're connected. For some stupid reason. I don't know why. Look at that gorgeous Junin cannon. Turks. Rufus's helicopter. They're coming over to the airship. No. <laughs> Rufus and his puppy. Cloud has to make it up top by himself. Great. Oh, they're all right here. Ah, there you are. Let's move. Grace won? How many tries did it take? Did Grace did Grace level up at all or did she just fight it until she won. I'm curious. That's impressive, honestly. Okay. Time to win that commendation. Commendation, you say? Yeah, I not even paying attention to the fact that people just randomly came up the elevator. Ah, nice. I mean, he doesn't have... Wow. ...a terrible tough pattern. What class is she playing as? Less security than I thought. More worried about the parade? <laughs> Guess things have changed. They got higher priorities. Personally, I think that's a good thing. The city's size, on the other hand. The robed men won't be easy to find. They're definitely not here. The prophet? Let's head into town. So she have holy magic? Holy healing and... I think they have a blessing of some sort they can use. Or no, it's a... Uh... I think it's like holy art. Not on our own home turf. Any idea what that is? The highway. Generous pride and joy. The fast. 
fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Screw the boat. Let's take that. Unless you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about, we're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. Rufus Shinra is a total hunk. That's the ticket. Do we have to go to that social for the Midgar units? Ah, uh, yeah. That actually makes sense then. Oh. No. Mm. We'll leave them be. For now. <laughs> Enter. An emissary from Wutai is here, sent by Viceroy Saruth. Oh? He introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. All right. I thought you were dead. <laughs> then you thought right. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. Okay, bye, Red Shadow. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Thank you, I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. <laughs> You always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, and you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. But war can put things right. Beget anger, desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future. 